Who do you personally think is gorgeous? Hmm. Orlando Bloom is gorgeous. James Franco is gorgeous. From one dude to another, this definitely is a compliment. This is guitar playing land gaming Nicholas Lim. 24 years old this year, he is one of the 50 contestants in the 15th edition of the Female's 50 Most Gorgeous People contest. Nicholas and another contestant, June Tan, both had Orlando Bloom topping their most gorgeous list. Who are your first two choices, guys? I guess it's because of the uh, posters I saw when I was walking in, like Gucci and stuff. Girls, Kristen Dunst is gorgeous as hell. Mm-hmm. But this gorgeous contender is pretty hard on himself. When asked what he feels is the least gorgeous part of himself, he says... Probably my body. Perhaps I'm not very very lean or mean or anything. But, uh... Oh wait, people will see this, right? Yeah, I, I guess it's not because I don't work out a lot, so probably I'm a bit uh, flabby on the flabby side. More to love, exactly, the, the girls love it. <laughs> Are you attached? Um, no, I'm not attached. So, what does your mom usually tell you is the most gorgeous thing about you? She always says I have nice broad shoulders. Yeah, that's about it, I guess. But uh, of course, like any mother, they will say that uh, their son is gorgeous in any other and every other way. No surprise then that she's the only person he's told about being in the contest so far. I guess she's really happy, but um, I haven't told any of my friends yet. Uh. I don't think they see me as that kind of um, person to be on the magazine. I- I'll tell them eventually or when they see me on the magazine. Yeah, you probably freak out. <laughs> model before? No, never in my life. This is the first time I'm being um, touched by so many people. <laughs> is that a good thing? No, it's not really. It's quite uncomfortable, but yeah, but I guess it's part of the whole thing. Uh. Have you tried tried um, fitting clothes fitting before? And then all these people are like, touching your hair and your clothes and everything every few seconds. And the self-deprecating lad who says he does not think he can win the contest found himself out of his element during his first ever photo shoot. A bit embarrassing because I've I've never posed so properly in front of a camera before. If you were friends with me on Facebook, you'll see that most of my pictures are not very decent. They're not very face-on. They're either me doing stupid things or sleeping, you know, sort of things. Speaking of embarrassment, do you have any embarrassing stories to tell? Any embarrassing stories, but I know I embarrass myself every week when I go drinking and I fall asleep at the club. But he did share one of his most memorable experiences. At the time when I'm in secondary school and I uh, used to have a band with my friends, it has to be the first one we had at the Holland Say Club where my guitar didn't work at all. So uh, I had to um, go to the backstage to borrow a guitar from uh, this guy called Nico from another band and we became good friends after that. Yeah, I mean, I mean that was like the uh, mark of a beginning of a friendship. Uh. We were being fought you play trash. <laughs> yeah, a- anything that... Uh, from Blink 182 to Green Day to um, Hubert's Tang, this sort of thing, anything. I mean, but they're not trash, they're, they're good stuff, just that we, we sounded like trash back then. Well, he didn't sell his band very well, but would he sell himself better? We put him to the challenge. Vote for me because I'm fun loving, and if I do win, I'll down 20 seconds of whiskey. How's that? Hmm, truthfully, maybe we'll stick to what others say about him. Uh, what do people usually compliment you on when they see you? Um, probably on my eyebrows. They always say it's uh, very nice and thick. There we go. And believe it or not, another female 50 most gorgeous contestant had a hair-raising experience with his eyebrows too. Find out more in the next clip.